Hi, this is Lucy and today I'm going to show you how to build this cute little cottage in the Cranberry Bog. If this is something you would be interested in, please stay tuned. So time for a quick tour. Obviously we are in the Cranberry Bog. I had originally tried to build this house further over in that direction but after being attacked by Scorch Beasts twice plus all the Scorch they dropped and random enemies attacking my camp I died twice before I got the walls on I decided possibly it wasn't the best location. <laughs> so I've moved down here close to Bogtown. I will show you on the map. Here is Bogtown. We have the bootlegger shack quite close by. The Scorch never attacked until I'd finished building and they do occasionally come across the river or shoot me from the other side of the river which is annoying. Um, and the Rangers District Office here. Obviously near Watoga. If you're new to the game, the Bolt 76 is over here. We had right down in the bottom right hand corner of the map. So this is why I actually have a turret here, is to deal with any scorch that come over from there. Um, it will shoot them across the river. <laughs> because it's the Cranberry Bog, obviously we have lots of ditches and gullies, so I put this little bridge over here. I didn't know that foundations would snap to these, actually, this, so that worked out quite well. And I have this little footpath. We have a workshop here. This is my standard three tile workshop with a valley roof. I'm not quite sure if this is the back or the front of the house really. You'll see why in a minute. The whole point of this build or the idea behind this build was I have built these valleys in my workshops. I've, I think this is the third or fourth one I've done. I thought what would happen if you did that all the way round? Well this is what happens. You get this kind of very pretty pattern on the roof and it looks nice from the inside as well. So that is that was the basis of the idea for this. So I was kind of thinking kind of Bayou kind of I think I was actually channeling Anne Rice's Taltos which is a book <laughs> in case you wondered <laughs> when I was building this. So it's kind of very kind of traditional very decorative lots of clutter. We have the bedroom area here we have a bathroom extension. These doors will swap. They're not on a separate tab. Yay! They are quite pretty. So I like them a lot. We have a little galley kitchen. It's got everything you need. This is the sitting room area and this is what the roof looks like from the inside. Outside we have this deck. which goes down to the river. It would be nice if there was a boat here. Yes, I know we have the prefab in the Atom Store, but it doesn't really go with this camp. But if you want to put it in your camp, that's fine. What you do in the privacy of your own camp is up to you. So we've got a little fishing spot here, somewhere to eat. 
I did consider putting a conservatory on the front, but water here isn't very pretty, is it? <laughs> well, I suppose it's red. <laughs> Let me out. I can actually jetpack across. I just thought it ruined the um, the look of the of the deck. So, but it's up to you. You might try it and like it. I have figured out a way to put pillars underwater. I will show you how I did that. So now I will show you how I built it. Right. The first thing we're going to do is place our camp widget. Now, standing between these two trees at the back here, we are going to place our camp widget. We're going to go forward till we can see that bit of bank and then we're going to come back a bit. I'm also going to move it to the right a bit because we need to get enough space to get our bridge in and a foundation the other side of it. So we're almost up to the path. If you want to go all the way up to the path and put the path, put the brick path all the way to there, feel free. You should have enough space. Going to start with foundations. And I'll go into camera mode, making sure I'm actually in camera mode and don't walk off the... edge and into the river, which I did earlier. Right. Now, there is a problem here, and I had this problem the first time I built it. There is nothing on the ground here, but it says that you cannot place... So there is something obviously under the map here that is causing a problem. So we're going to have to move it slightly this way. And then you'll be able to get it on. Now, you want enough clearance on this foundation so that you can get a ladder down there. That's fine. Take two, Lucy. Yes. <laughs> right, so this is our deck. Now, we will be putting the ladder on the side, but temporarily we are going to be putting a ladder on here. And this is the reasons the foundations are reasonably high, is because we need to snap a foundation to here and also to down here. This is so that we can get the pillars on. We can take some of this up later. I, I will show you. Now we need the house, which is two by two. And we have the bathroom and the porch. So all in all, you've got five by two. We will need space for our porch. And we are going to lower this. I'm going to use the I don't know if you, this is an old trick. The first time I, I saw it was, um, I think, Davy. No Respawns did this. It's not something I use a lot. I do use it a lot more now with uh, merging into foundations. You you place, an, place a foundation, select it, so it stays selected. On Xbox, it's A. You hold down the select button, and then you use the right bumper to lower it or the left bumper to raise it up and it gives you a more precise um, lowering as it were right the workshop is going here like so 
Then we need to add our bridge, which is not snapping. Oh, there it goes. Snapping on. And a foundation here. Now I did find that I thought this snapped both ways. These appear to snap to a foundation, but you can't snap a foundation to it. So you will have to, or not in this instance anyway. I'm sure it worked last time, but hey. 76, not always consistent. You can move it this way a little bit. There we go. That's as good as damn it, I think. Don't go any lower. Right. So this is basically the layout. So we're going to start with some walls. I built this using the brick set, so I am just going to... That's the only walls I used were brick, so I am just going to double wall using this set. I'm not going to convert to it. There's no point. May as well just use this. So double wall all the way around. You will need another foundation here for to get the back double wall on. There is normally a tree here. You should be able to put a foundation over it. Again, that's one of the reasons the foundations are quite high at the front is because the ground raises up at the back. Two top wall arches and then on the main house we are going to go around and we are going to put top wall arches on all sides like so. I wanted to use these roofs. I really like these attractive copper roofs. I wasn't sure about the stuff hanging down. I, I like it, but I just think it just looks too similar on every piece. But we can try it just for to change it up. And then using these again, I'm going to put a flat roof inside to put my flamer trap on because we are going to flamer trap all of these top wall arches it does not like this so i'm going to flatten that and put this roof in here come on then i'm going to get up in this roof well and flamer trap all of these top wall arches This roof back in the upward position we will have to put it down again in a minute but hey just so we don't flame a trap it flame a trap this wall whoops tree Get a stash box. Flame a trap, these two walls. Uh, 
I'm not high enough. <laughs> double wall now if you have not been able to get a foundation in here I will quick show you a quick trick it won't work if you've got a lamp post or um, something in your way but it is worth showing you if you have catwalks catwalks are pretty much the best tool in my opinion for building. Place a catwalk down. Right, need a bit more. Need a quarter. You can build round like this, make sure it's in the middle. And you can snap another wall on like that. Just take your catwalks off. Get that off. And you have a double half wall without a foundation. We need to go around and double wall the top. And go to your camp widget and repair all. Don't need this one now. Right. Going to sort out the deck. Now, the reason that I um, did two upper floors here is. I didn't like these foundation legs being visible. It's up to you. So we are going to take these off and we are going to snap upper floors to this ladder. Now, to get the pillars on, I didn't put them on the corners. You could, it's just complicated because of this ladder. You can move it around, you can move the foundations around here, put the ladder on here, and then use a half. I just put them on. I was just so pleased to get them on, to be honest. <laughs> so, like that. I'm going to move this ladder over here, hopefully. Nope. I think you have to add an additional ladder. That's interesting. It says I can't place it in water. Okay. So we are going to um, Put some foundations around here. Some of these will be able to lift off anyway. We still needed this ladder. Well, you could put the ladder there to start with, I suppose. 
you can take some of these foundations off even though these pillars are here it just seems to want one if you have one you probably take that one out so you got two nope can't take that one out so you have these three foundations here you can turn them to the black stone so they disappear I mean the water here is very murky so but that's the general idea anyway these pillars do not have a foundation under them these two it still thinks it's fine so next we're going to do the roofs I'm going to use these roofs again which actually let's take these off a minute I did find this roof here will not go down if this one is in the upright position. It's a pain in the neck, but there we go. Whichever way you want to go, just pick a direction. Because we will be flamer trapping these roofs and then putting a set on 90 degrees. I do ha I'm having awful problems with these roofs today. Like so, then we get portable toilet with the flamer trap on. I'm building it outside of the house because it's easier if you do it inside it will it's very difficult to move this in here as well because it doesn't seem to like going in the ghost I tend to find that if you um, move move away from it slightly or push it away from you it's easier to move away from it in here and just flame a trap these roofs need to do is put the roofs going in a sort of 90 degree opposite direction that is why we have the top wall arches on all sides Like so. Then just go to your camp widget again and repair all. We can put this one back in the upright position. I, I do this now because sometimes it's an absolute pain to get these roofs on when they're double walled. So it is starting to look like a house. I did add a porch on and I used the same roof set and put these corner pieces on. If they won't go on, um, just put a wall up. <laughs> and it still won't go on. You may need to flame a trap these top wall arches to get these on. It is a bit of a pain. Oh, 
Not sure that's going to be high enough. Maybe. We've destroyed it all again. Just put your piece like that that should just snap off anyway because it's attached to this and then just go repair everything yet again <laughs> so you should have something that looks like this I actually I don't know maybe the uh, the weeds are growing on me I do certainly like the um, kind of burnished effect of this roof it's very pretty we need to put windows and doorways in and things like that well we have doorways windows window there window there window there I put a window in the end in the bathroom. I think I used the round window. That's a plain wall. Go around and do the inside so it matches. And as for wallpaper, you probably noticed that it was 90% red. So go around. The whole outside was red. This back wall I did in in this patterned woo it's very disorientating when it does that the other thing to bear in mind is they are a pain to select but you have these little bits on the inside on the inside here as well it is easier to select them near the edges We are getting there. Um, I did put a half wall in the middle to split the bedroom and the sitting room area. Obviously, I double walled it. If you don't like the brick edging on it then by all means change that to something else for the floors I used the kind of parquet dark cherry wood floors um, 
one of these. I can't remember which one. That one. I think... That's right. <laughs> I never remember which floors I use. I change them so often when I'm building. Um, I did use... Um, this kind of stone floor for out here and for the workshop. That tree is probably going to have to go. I put... One of these iron fences on this part here. To decorate out here, I think, I mean, I experimented with lots of different things. I put a couple of pillars up. So this is a free place pillar. I'm just going to hopefully it won't go on because of the roof then just change the roof to a flat one it should go on now the roofs back you can remember which way you did them to fill this gap in again you don't need to you could leave that as an alternative way to get in it's up to you I used this rusted chain link fence it will go in Like so, so it's starting to look pretty much, yeah, I quite like these roofs, I don't know, I'm, I'm undecided, it's just this repeating pattern thing that always bugs me. Doors, I use these, these doors. And for the bathroom, I used the, um, I just used this one. It won't go in, but if you put something like that in, you can change it up. Right, we're going to get rid of that extra tree with by using a rock. workshop I just did in um, brick you could double wall it to make it look like um, the house if you wanted we might have another tree issue I have done this workshop so many times. I've got to come up with a different workshop. I just find this one really easy to use so and it looks attractive. We're just going to put these top wall arches on these two sides like so. More tree gone.
going to put the roofs on this side like this. Going to put one of those on there like so. Going to lower that one down. Going to flame a trap this one. Like so. And then we are going to fit the other roofs over like so. We need another one of those wall pieces. We need the opposite one like so. Put that up. Repair this. And then all we need to do is fill in those gaps. So I think we're pretty much there. I did put a couple of uh, trees down. I used the um, kind of uh, fall ones. Autumn, as we call it over here. Just for the colour, it will go in. I think I did wallpaper the workshop. I just used the kind of um, weathered wood, they call it. It looks like, looks like chipboard or something to me, but it's up to you. You could go red again. Obviously, if you have grass showing through like this, by all means, put confetti down. And that is pretty much it. You have your own cranberry compound. If you wanted, obviously, for extra, extra, extra security. I've put the wrong thing on there. Haven't I? <laughs> it's been one of those years and it's just started. We've just started 2023. But so far, January is better than December. There we go. You could carry on the fencing to um, give yourself a bit more extra security. Um, whatever you want, really. Obviously, you could put stairs in here. You don't necessarily have to because it's not that huge a step. All of the power for this was by merging um, generators into the foundations in the house. One out here to power lights for the bridge and one in the workshop. So, Happy New Year. Let's hope 2023 is better than 2022, although I think we've all been saying that since 2018. So... Hang on to your hats. <laughs> so that is all from me today. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you for watching.